This is my girlfriend, Eleanor. We've been together for about three years now, and this weekend we're moving in together. We're both very excited to be living together for the first time, obviously. I wanted to take her out for a nice evening somewhere to celebrate. We're both trying to eat a paleo diet, so I figured we'd go have steak, which would be somewhat of a rare treat for us. I went online and you simply googled best steak in London and I came across this article by British GQ where they recommended a place called Flat Iron. The prices were pretty reasonable and they seem to have quite a few locations around town so I picked the nicest looking one and we were on our way. We get on the underground to London Bridge. I hadn't told her where we were going yet, just that we were going out to dinner. The restaurant kind of just looked like any other place in London where you'd go out for a bite. But the inside was amazing with these exposed brick walls and plants everywhere. I love restaurants that just focus on doing a couple of dishes really well. And Flatiron is a good example of that. And you also get complimentary popcorn as an appetizer. We both ordered the standard steak with two different sauces. A serving of fries, asparagus and the baked aubergine. The steak tasted amazing and was really tender. Um, my only complaint is that it kind of looked a bit grey and dull. All the sides were great, but the baked aubergine was definitely in a league of its own. And yeah, I definitely recommend the mushroom sauce for the steak, but get fred sauce for the sides. They only had one option for dessert, which was a baked Alaska. It's chocolate and cherries in ice cream under a bed of meringue, and I have to say, it might have been one of the best desserts I've ever had. I definitely say Flat Iron is one of the best steak restaurants in London, at least for that price. After dinner, we went to finish the night with a couple of cocktails in a place called Mr. Fogg's House of Botanicals. It had a really different vibe than most places and the drinks were good and not too expensive. All in all, I'd say it was a great ending to a great